Hi guys, I am back in my favourite spot of all time, right next to my lovely Christmas tree and I have a cup of coffee in my favourite mug. I have just finished filming the um, Christmas Day outfit inspo. This video is a departure from the planned one because last Wednesday, so a week ago today, Eleanor was sent home from nursery with suspected chicken pox. As you can imagine, that put us into a whole different kind of quarantine where we couldn't really do anything. And normally it wouldn't be a problem, but for two, two very important reasons. The first one was that I couldn't do my Christmas shopping. And I was actually in town, standing in the queue for the till, phone and said, you've got to come here now and get her. So um, basically I just left my basket, dropped everything and ran home. So moved um, my shopping online. Turns out she doesn't have chicken pox, which is a very good thing because the other reason why it was such an issue is because my brother's father-in-law is actually very, very poorly. And if it was chicken pox, because Eleanor has seen her cousin and I've seen my brother, they wouldn't, he and his girlfriend would not have been able to go to her parents for Christmas. So that would have completely ruined all of their Christmas plans. Thankfully, it is not chicken pox. Although I did do most of my shopping online, I was able to go to Sainsbury's and Co-op to get the rest of the Christmas food. I had already chosen Eleanor's stocking and a Christmas Eve box present. It was a very painless process. So for her stocking, and this is her stocking, it's very traditional and I really, really like a traditional stocking. To go in her stocking, I have bought her a nightlight. Um, I've bought her a wooden train set, a farmyard. Basically, it's felt that just sticks onto the board. Stickers, because she absolutely loves stickers. Some colouring books. These are from B&M and it was the only toy that she was actually interested in. Little, there's a cow and a piggy and a chicken and a horse and a sheep. So she can do old McDonald's. A couple of very practical things. So I've got her some gloves. They tighten around the top here. It's elastic so they go on and they can go over her cuff on her sleeve. Very own umbrella. A pair of very much needed wellies there pearlescent purple. So that's all for her stocking. I have got her her very own copy of Room on the Broom. She loves this so, so much. And I also picked up a pair of pyjamas, which has got unicorns and planets on. These are for her Christmas Eve box. This is from Not on the High Street. And it's got Father Christmas and this little reindeer. And it says Eleanor's Christmas Eve box. And in here is going to go Oh, excuse me, the pyjamas. Santa's Magic Key found the most beautiful book, When I Dream of Christmas. I think my delivery's just arrived. Back in a tick. Oh, relevant. Not this time, not this time. Where was I? Oh yes, When I Dream of Christmas. It says it will take children on a magical journey and help them to appreciate the true essence of Christmas as they meet humorous inhabitants of an enchanted winter wonderland. How beautiful is that? <gasps> wow. That's so nice. Christmas trees. It says Christmas trees are happiest when they're dressed in glittering lights and baubles. I think this is a happy Christmas. So that is Eleanor's stocking and Christmas Eve box, except I've forgotten something. got to show you the snuggliest, sweetest hooded bathrobe I think I've ever seen. Other things that are going to go in there is some reindeer food and also is some popcorn so we can sit on Christmas Eve which is tomorrow and we can enjoy a movie together. We'll probably watch the Polar Express again because we both really really enjoy that. I did pick up one more thing this is for my mum. It occurred to me the other day that Eleanor is now two and a half years old 
and this is her third Christmas and I have never done a handprint ornament for her Nana. So I picked up one of these and I thought that they could do it together on Christmas Day, which will be a really nice memory for Mum. Most of this is from online and I will link it all below in box for you. And now I'm going to show you what we're going to be having to eat over the festive season. Let's go and have a look and see what the four of us will be eating over Christmas. And I hope that the rest of my stuff arrives today. <laughs> uh, well, it's supposed to arrive before one o'clock, like fingers crossed. This is the table of Christmas treats. Looks like an awful lot. <laughs> Looks like loads looking at it like this. However, all of this is, is treats and that is treats. So when you look at it, it's not that much, really. Tonight, because Mum and Bill are coming quite some way, we're going to have a comfort food of macaroni cheese with chilli beef and then probably dig into this lot with wine. Tomorrow on Christmas Eve, I've been requested for um, salmon on croute. So I'm going to be doing salmon on croute. Um, we're going to have that with potato gratin. And I've also got salad in the fridge. And then for Christmas Day morning, we are having a very traditional smoked salmon with bagels with eggs. And then for dinner, which I'm planning on doing for about two o'clock, I found this enormous duck in Sainsbury's. For £8.50, with the duck, we are having all of the traditional stuff. We are having pigs in blankets, which we all love. We're having roast potatoes in goose fat. And I'm going to put this on top. And then we're going to have carrots and parsnips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast some of these and same with the potatoes and then I'm going to mash some of them as well. And then I am going to be having sprouts fried in a pan with bacon is the only way to eat sprouts. And then obviously gravy. And then for Boxing Day, we're going to be having all of everything that's left over. And I've picked up a sweet cured unsmoked gammon with a muscovado glaze and this is lovely so i'm ready i think i'm ready mum is bringing the cheese and the wine so i've told her to bring plenty of both and over here we've got a sticky toffee pudding the co-op do the best sticky toffee puddings in the world and some profiteroles which are my favorite there's something here that everybody will eat. I've got a couple of little Christmas puddings, but I've got a Christmas cake and some little toppers. And then Ferrero Rocher, which are actually a present for my mum, because she really loves them. Stollen, mince pies, milk tray, chocolate buttons, and after eights. And then over here, oh, what a messy kitchen, ignore the mess, I'll tidy it up later. I have a bottle of red a bottle of white that my landlord very very kindly dropped around to us as a, as a Christmas present and then I've got two bottles of Prosecco and then in the fridge I've got some Ballycastle fake Baileys from Aldi which I actually prefer to um, actual Baileys and then I've picked up some pate as a starter. The last parcel has arrived. Here it is, everything5pounds.com. So in here is my Christmas day outfit and some slippers for Eleanor, some Christmas jammers for Els, and a couple of treats for me. So I'm gonna pop this camera right here. So for those of you who don't know, everything five pounds is basically what it says on the bag. Everything is five pounds. So what they do is they have sort of seconds and out of stock and things like that from other places. So not only is it cheap, it's also quite eth. So from Santa, I have a gorgeous pair. Can you see them? No, you can't. An absolutely gorgeous pair of arm warmers. You can feel the cashmere in them. So pretty. So those are for my stocking. I've also got some new gloves. Might give these to my mum. But they probably won't because they're really nice and they look really, really warm. Oh, this is even cuter in real life than on the website. Maybe if I put you there. So this is a little snail pyjama set. 
I've been seeing um, faux fur slippers all over Instagram. Uh, and when I saw these, I just couldn't resist. They're so ridiculous. There's a great big pearl on them. But they feel so comfy and soft and lovely. You know what? Santa's amazing, isn't he? I mean, he knows my shoe size, my dress size. He knows that I really need gloves all the time because I'm so cold. So this is a grey off-the-shoulder jumper, which I'm going to wear on Christmas Day with some leggings. Um, because we're staying home and we're not really going anywhere, so I'm going to go try that on. This is my Christmas Day outfit. So I've got this beautiful grey jumper, which is so snuggly and really cosy warm. So it's nice and chunky. It feels very nice. It fits well. And at the minute I've just paired it with some um, black leggings, but to be honest, I probably won't wear leggings on Christmas Day. I want to be a little bit more dressed up. So I'll probably wear it with my leather pants. And then my incredibly fluffy lovely slippers these are so soft i just thought i'd try it with my bow leather pants and i like it a lot better so yes christmas day i think it's casual enough but it's also just that little bit glam to be honest with you i'll probably wear my uggs with it rather than these slippers but um they really are so soft and lovely christmas day outfit sorted courtesy of everything five pounds and primark I feel I feel um I feel really good now that I've basically finished. I've got everything I need, everything's done. All I need to do is change the bed sheets to have clean sheets on Christmas. And I've got a few bits to do around the house. The parental room is ready. I've moved some furniture around downstairs to make room for presents. I've got a few left to wrap, but apart from the, just those few little jobs. I'm ready, absolutely ready, and I feel so good knowing that everything is done, it's all in hand, and now that I am on top of Christmas, and look at this outfit, oh my gosh, oh slippers, they make it don't they, <laughs> really love them. This is where this video is ending, linked below in the description box as is everything. My next video is going to be all about the changes that I'm making. To, to this channel. It's going to be a fireside chat and it's also going to be all like the top 10 things that I learned during 2020. So I'll see you in that one between Christmas and New Year. Have a wonderful time, the best time you possibly can, and I will see you after Christmas and as we head into 2021. Big love guys, happy Christmas.